And the last in the sequence about particle physics is something called strangeness. Now, strangeness was observed by Murray Gell-Mann and his colleagues. And strangeness is a property of particles for particles that are created easily in collisions with a long decay sequence, hence the name strangeness. You don't need to know why it's called strangeness. You just need to know that exists. Okay, so there are S quarks. An S quark has got a strangeness of minus one and an anti S quark has got a strangeness of plus one. Okay, and that is on an AQA physics data sheet. Right, okay, so in a strong interaction, strangeness has to be conserved. Okay, so if we have a look at this for an example, here, this is a meson, so it's got a baryon number of zero, this is a proton, and it's got a baryon number of one. This is a neutron, it's got a baryon number of one, this is a meson, it's got a baryon number of zero, and a kaon is a meson, so that's zero as well. One equals to one, so that checks out in terms of strangeness. If we have a look at charge, so we've got negative charge, positive charge, neutral charge, positive charge, negative charge, Positive negative cancels, so that's equal to zero. Positive negative cancels, so that equals zero. That equals, so charge checks out as well. The problem we've got with this one is strangeness. A pion has got no strangeness. A proton has got no strangeness. A neutron has got no strangeness. This has also got no strangeness. And an anti kaon has got a strangeness of minus one. So because of this, this can't take place, okay, because strangeness is not conserved. We know it's a strong interaction because it's the collision between two particles here, okay. These are weak interactions due to decay. So there's a decay sequence, so there's one particle that's decayed into others, which makes it weak rather than strong. So here we have got a strangeness, I'll use a different colour pen. Here we've got a strangeness of plus one, and then we've got no strangeness, no strangeness. However, it's a weak interaction. Now, strangeness can be out by one or minus one. So in a weak interaction, strangeness does not have to be conserved. Okay, so that's totally fine. We've got positive there and positive there, so charge checks out. And we've got no baryons or leptons whatsoever in that instance, so that checks out. So that can exist. This can happen. So again, in this situation here, we've got a strangeness of 1. And this is 0, and this is also 0. So that's fine. The issue that we've got with this is the lepton number. Kaons are not leptons. This is an anti-lepton because it's a mu1 plus. Okay, so that's minus one. And this is also an anti-lepton. So you've got minus two on that side and zero on that side. So that cannot happen. If we did want this to happen, then we'd have to have a negative mu1. Or alternatively, we'd have to have uh, uh, just a neutrino rather than anti-neutrino. Cheers!